Hey, I'm Nick Athlon Gamer, and welcome to Pro Basketball Manager 2023. This is a first look video. This is a new title from Umix Studios. Thank you for the key, also, Umix. For this, uh, we're going to do things a little differently. First off, it's just a first look video. If you want to see more, you're going to have to let me know in the comments below. If there's enough likes and comments regarding wanting to see a full-blown series with this game, do let me know because that is going to be the de determining factor. I have not one but two first look videos to record today and I definitely do not have space on the channel for both of them. I honestly don't really have space for either of them at this stage so it's going to need plenty of support if you want to see more content regarding this one. I decided to go with a variation of Tudor uh, for our coach style and here is our distribution of attributes. We are going to be best at training uh, both young and veteran players to make them better, also negotiating contracts. One of the keys about this game is it's not just managing the NBA. There are so many leagues around the world that are available. Now, if you want to see an NBA playthrough, first off, I would absolutely be going, down, going with my home team Blazers in that case, but that is going to be you know determined by those likes and comments below in this pull down tab you can see lots and lots of different nations available and there are different leagues venezuela has a high quality selection of leagues brazil and where i'm going to manage a team for this first look video the philippines for those who for those who don't know the philippines actually has the second oldest professional league in the world behind the they also have the largest stadiums largest basketball basketball specific stadiums in the entire world twice the size a handful of them twice the size of that of the nba they hold records for the largest basketball crowds ever and while competitively okay uh, it's not the biggest league out there by any stretch of the imagination those attendance records are pretty impressive. Now, the average attendance is still smaller than the NBA. It's more for big tournament games that, that see those gigantic crowds, but they do see them, and they do hold all of the records when it comes to basketball attendance. The Philippines League is one that's all over the place and actually constantly evolving. Uh, a couple of the teams that are here are defunct right now, so this has not been updated recently enough uh, and, and there's new teams in their places now the, the way the philippines league works is all of the teams are carried by a sponsor but that sponsor is actually also the owner in the case of the professional league here in the philippines the three biggest teams in the philippines are owned by the same company subsidiaries of that same company and that's san miguel beer which as somebody who uh, has been to the Philippines, my wife is from the Philippines, uh, I've, I have had plenty of San Miguel's beer <laughs> in my day. But if you know me as a person, uh, I always go for the underdog. I never take the, the big time player uh, when it comes to any game. So I'm always trying to build from the back and not take a proven winner. In the history of the league, two teams outside of those three have ever won a championship. The share of the championships are divided amongst those three teams, and they hold most all of them. In fact, just 10 championships have ever been won by someone outside of those three, and just two teams have claimed that. One with a couple wins, one with eight championships, but still less than all three of those San Miguel-owned uh, teams. There is a huge discrepancy between the top, well, the top four teams, the, the three plus the other one larger one, and the rest of the league when it comes to finances. So if you look, we don't have anything noteworthy regarding players and facilities, uh, but what we do have is the, the best team, current best team in terms of finances, is one of those three, Magnolia Hotshots. Uh, and then the team that we're going to take on is very much near the bottom. They are not last, though, when it comes to finances, but pretty dang close to it. Uh, the average, yeah, we were well below that average. 
and the worst team, Blackwater, not far below us. And a lot of the teams are down in this area, and then those top few, way, way above the rest. At roughly 16,000 seats, our small club, small stadium is still fairly close to a lot of NBA and college stadium sizes. In fact, it's still bigger than most college sizes. Uh, average NBA stadiums are 18 to 21,000 in, in size. And an average game has about 17 to 18,000 fans at it throughout an NBA season through, across the NBA. While not officially the newest team in the league in real life, in game, the newest team in the league is Phoenix, and that's why I've picked them. To my knowledge, the entire league is spread out across Manila. Cousin City is one of the, like, say, boroughs of uh, the larger Manila, which is just massive, by the way. I've been to New York, and New York rises very high. <laughs> Manila... Not as high, but oh my goodness, is it packed in. What a huge city that is. Looks like we have three weak assistant coaches on low salaries uh, that give us a boost of 9% to training. In fact, I have a 10% boost to training, so I am not, I am 10 of our 9% boost. We would actually have a negative one, otherwise condition is balanced at zero and recovery is at zero i don't know if it was a case of expiring contracts or just loading up a league and i think this might be the case loading up a league that just didn't have a completed roster format therefore we have our u21s we have our 16 17 year old players we have no senior league players at this time uh, so that's going to be tricky uh, putting together a roster completely from scratch on a quite limited budget. So at the moment, I don't know exactly what kind of budget we are dealing with. I'm not even sure if I can even sign players right now, but I'm going to see what I can do. Now, looking at the quality of players that are out there, I'm assuming that budget's going to be you know, a huge problem. Therefore, I'm looking at which players provide some quality, but for whatever reason have lower value than some of the other guys on this list. Also, if I can, getting somebody a little bit younger. But in the case of like a Jared Dillinger, who is just that much cheaper than everybody else around him, uh, if he wants to play, then we're going to let him play. At four stars, Al Bueva is one of the better players potentially in the league. And yes, he's 34, but uh, I think we can potentially get him brought in to be a key guy for us and be a bit cheaper. We're not going to be playing many years anyway, so uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so he is already set to join Magnolia Hotshots. Of course he is at the end of January, which it's only July now. To start this playthrough, we were also assigned a national team. Um, I've taken the Philippines for that one. And so the Philippines are currently involved in the FIBA Basketball World Cup Asia qualifiers. Uh, it's a second round, it's already certain, for both as we go through. Uh, but we are playing India. Both teams are coming off multiple losses in a row here in this first round matchup. I uh, see neither team is very good in terms of the head-to-head the -head matchup here. On average, the Philippines score 70 points and concede 86 per game, where India scores 56 and concedes 94 per game. They are 0-6. Philippines are 3-3 three and three as we enter this one. Uh, Philippines won 88-64 last time they played each other earlier in this first round of the qualifiers. So in terms of role, we have four roles to assign on our 12-man roster, and then essentially assigning you know, what position they're going to play, 
uh, whether they're going to come on as a sub. And you can see the estimated level of the players we have entering this one. Uh, just a single guy under six foot, but maxing out at six eight. Uh, Malonzo is our tallest player. To my knowledge, this is an updated 3D engine from what the game had previously. As we go ahead and play, uh, we are in. I believe we're in white today. Yes, we are. Defensive foul on that one. And I think we're going to want to play at a slightly faster tempo than this one. Ball in. Three pointer is good. And India strikes first on the game's opening possession. One coming off the rim, going the other way. Ten minute quarters here. International play, so FIBA rules. Our Ravina gets our first score. Alright, I'm guessing the the yellow as we now lead 5-3. Uh, the yellow is fouls. As Orma got that opening possession foul. He's heading to play. Score level at 5 right now. Three chances on that one, and we're looking at an and one. And the bone goes to the line and converts the and one. No, Ormi is the one, not the bone. Okay, when to use subs is always going to be a thing. We're three minutes in, so it's not too early to get to rotations yet, but it is still on the early side as we lead 10 7 on this one. We want to get that rotation part happening. Go ahead and go part for uh, one. The bung on fire right now, so that's good. We want to keep that hot hand in a little bit longer. 12-10, big three-pointer there from Williams. Long range, too. Not the kind of shot I want a team taking. Five minutes to go in the quarter. I'll probably make that two substitutions. Let's get uh, the way out. Especially with his foul. The bong picks up his first foul. That's our second of the quarter. Yeah, Ravina with the foul. Williams. The one guy we seem to be having trouble with right now. He's already got four points. Travel on Parks, who just entered the game. And another three-point shot, and Williams has seven. He has half of India's points as we trail. Fast break giveaway on that one, and we are down 16 to 12 here. Uh, might be worth considering a timeout as we are playing a little bit poorly, especially beyond the arc, as they've had like three threes already. Another long range two. Nabong on fire. He's got four points. Ravina has five. It's kind of the go-to player. Arne has three sitting on the bench right now, recovering. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Kwan Lee on for Ravina. As he's already fully recovered here. And keep strong players on the court. Keep other guys as fresh as we can as we go along. One point game. Bong, his second foul is going to need to go to the bench. Want Alonzo or Ome in? Let's get Alonzo. Yes, he's got a hot hand. Ravina just got to a hot hand as he goes to the bench, but that's okay. Final minute of the first quarter. The game's a bit back and forth right now. Big three-pointer. That's our first of the game. Both free throws missed there. And that three-pointer misses. Long range attempt at the buzzer. And we finished the first quarter up two points. Looks like we can give collective instructions. So you could go either way. You go positive feedback from a number of guys. 
Okay, Ravina still needs a little more time on the bench. Abueva needs a rest. We'll, we'll get somebody else on in his place. Probably Orme. We're a little bit lacking in the three positions here. Guards, we have a lot of them. I'm wondering if I can utilize uh, a few of these other players, like, say, Newsom. Can Newsom play? We'll see how he does. But we'll, we'll give him a couple minutes to see how that goes. Uh, if not, Orme will come in shortly, uh, shortly thereafter. And second quarter begins. Opening possession here, and we drive the lane, and Milanzo, center who came out, drove well on that one. Miss close range. And that three is another miss. See, India settles for threes a lot. Not sure what the call was on that one. Off the ball foul, maybe. Screen and drive, but we kick out to the corner, and Parks. Makes the two, long range two there. Looks like his foot was on the line. And Pfizer scores the three. Let's see how Newsom is doing. Gotta keep an eye on his performance. Another three pointer, back to back for India. That's literally the only thing keeping him in this game. I think that's five threes in this game already. Half of their points. Parks makes that too. Newsom has not done anything since coming on at the small forward position. Travel. Parks needs to come out. Ravina is ready to come back on. And they missed that one. We take a three point lead. Defensive foul, off the ball. Just before we cross half court. Already five minutes into the second quarter. Alonzo's been doing pretty well here. Uh, Newsom is, se seems to be struggling, so that experiment is not going well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch here, and then we'll go ahead and put some of us in at power forward. Uh, Ravina's picked up three fouls here. That's not good. We do have depth at the position, of course. 47-38 here with a minute to go in the second quarter. I've been so distracted by substitutions here in the last little bit that I haven't seen us stretch to a double-digit lead. We were on an 8-0 run until another three-pointer. He's starting to get a little tired, so let's go ahead and get him out. He's been in whole second quarter. Halftime. Okay, three fouls for Ravina is the biggest concern. A couple fouls for Nabong and Ray Parks. But otherwise, uh, looking pretty good at half. It took us a little bit to get things going, but a nice run there in the second quarter. Second half underway. Of course, going the opposite direction this time. And India strikes first. Williams, he's having a big day. He's got 15 points. If not for him, we would be all over this one. Nice. Nice screen there to set up the uh, mid-range jumper. 51-43. Five rebounds for Singalon. Ravina starts on the bench with his three fouls. Parks. Or he scores twice and something just happened. I don't know what it is. Is that a timeout? Must be a timeout. It is a timeout. Well, he's got 50 seconds left. I like that. That's nice. One point lead. Go ahead, just in general encouragement. Out of the timeout, do we want to make any changes? Not yet. Settling for a lot of long-range twos, which is definitely not my coaching style. I do coach basketball. Just had a game last night. It was not a victory, though. Got to 
very inexperienced team this year. Make good progress, though. It's just our second game of the season. Anyway, so Juan has 16 points right now. He's putting in a stellar performance. Uh, point guard position has been a strong one for us. Uh, Nabong is doing pretty well. He does have those two fouls. Uh, I'm wondering if Malonzo, who of course is doing fantastic, we want to get him back in there. Safe for Singalong, but I don't think we have enough depth to really be messing with that right now. Third foul for Nabong, so that's that'll seal that one. Ravina still on the bench. We obviously want to get him back out there before long. Parks with a couple fouls might actually be the guy to uh, sub out in this situation. So three subs incoming. Lead out to 15 now. Nia not shooting particularly well and definitely sh settling for a lot of long range shots. And if not for effective three-point shooting, uh, we would have been much further ahead. Jeter just picked up his fourth. FIBA rules should be 5,000. You're out. It is. You can see it up based on the dots. There's not a sixth dot. So Jeter, one away from uh, ejection from the game. Picks up his first foul. That's okay. It's just one. Two minutes to go here in the quarter. He holds at 15. That three is no good. Well, comes away with the rebound. Jeter pulls up for the, the tray and has it. It's his first made shot of the game. But we answer on his three. Makes hit 19 in the game for him. I love it. The timeout has a timer. I took too long making a decision, and I did not get my substitutions complete. Uh, now Newsom's got to come back in at that small forward position where I just don't have the depth. I, I have five players for all of the forward spots, and that is the end of the quarter. Uh, and again, there's a timer here. Two minutes. I like that. That's a really cool feature. Juan, 91%. We'll get him back in soon. Nabong is back to 97%. Uh, he does have three fouls, though. That's a Lillard range, but no good. We decide to do the same, as do they. This time, nailing it, which has five points. After that three. And Ravina answered. He's now got 13. Ravina makes both free throws now with 15 points. Uh, we're going to get Juan on for his last shift of the game. Uh, Ravina might be done for the day. We may not get it back on with his lead holds. Six and a half to go here in the game. Nabong, 12th point of the day, another timeout. I do like the substitution management on this game compared to some other games that I've played of a similar style. Ooh, nice. That is a blocking foul, not a charge. Ramos takes the end one. Action's a little fast for calling the play-by-play. -play. And this is only times two speed. It has times three speed. Of course, the other option is your standard times one. You now five minutes to go. I'm going to start thinking about garbage time and getting some guys on that have not played. Quan, he Lee out of there. Ramos has been playing for a while. Let's get Newsom back on. I 
play him out of position. That's fine. Two minutes to go. 89-66. Jeter never fouled out. He's still here. Sengala, 11 rebounds. Good job on the boards for him, even though he's only got six points. Jeter with a three, just six points, but that's going to wrap up the game. At the very end, we drop to a 20-point advantage, but we win 92-72. This is what our group looks like, by the way, uh, for the qualifiers. It's just a three-team group. No wonder we've played each other multiple times. Uh, India, winless. Philippines beating India, but continually losing to the other opponent, which is New Zealand. Being that we pick things up in the offseason, FIBA is the continuation of what's going on with the Asian qualifiers. So the next one would be a game against Lebanon, and they've been really good. They're first in their group. They've only lost a single match over the last calendar year with about 10 wins, about 10-1 and one through that stretch. Pretty tough team that we would be going up against in this one, but it's already been a full month from where that last one was. And I think we would be seeing a bit more of the same thing we just witnessed other than maybe coming out on the losing end. There's definitely something here, and there are some aspects I like. The substitution patterns, uh, the 3D gameplay is, is certainly decent, and there is potential here. And I certainly like that not only do you have the NBA, but you have leagues across the world. We have some real teams. We have uh, a mod that gave real player names, pictures, and then there's also women's game, and, and that's definitely appealing uh, to, to so many people. I mean, I would love to take my alma mater uh, and first overall draft pick, Sabrina Ionescu, uh, with her New York Liberty and see what I can do, or with my home state, Seattle Storm, and see what you can do. So WNBA would be pretty cool to have as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for this first look. I said this at the beginning. I'll say it one more time. If you like what you see here, please take a moment, drop below, click that like button, and leave a comment whether you want to see a full series. Whether that is a full series here in the Philippines, whether that is an NBA series, whether that's a WNBA series, what would you like to see? Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.